right, thanks, Matt. Some protesters are out in front of the Springfield Conservation Nature Center this morning while a managed deer hunt is underway. The Conservation Center, though, says there is a number of reasons they're doing this, including making some of our roads safer and for the overall health of the deer population in southwest Missouri. Deer numbers are extremely high. We see them double, triple the population that we would like to see in an urban area. And we also see that the habitat has been degraded greatly in these areas. So here's how the managed hunt works. Four bow hunters will have around 36 hours to kill up to three deer apiece. They each must kill a doe before they can kill any bucks. We're just trying to educate the community that this hunt does not need to happen. No one needs to shoot the deer. Population is not an issue. And if we are concerned about the spread of diseases and population control, we need to look into how the conservation center, why the deer are there. We post more details about the issue on our social media pages. You can check it out on the KY3 Facebook page. Okay, so we're just trying to educate the community that this hunt does not need to happen. No one needs to shoot the deer. Population is not an issue. And if we are concerned about the spread of diseases and population control, we need to look into how the conservation center, why the deer are there. Um, are they coming from deer breeding farms? We want to know these answers because we think that the conservation center is getting their funds from hunting licenses. They get these hunting licenses by telling people who usually don't hunt, families, 15 year old girls, like you saw at the hunt last year, they encourage them to get involved with this hunt. So that way they get their first kill, that way they're more enthusiastic about hunting in the future, purchasing more hunting license, and therefore more revenue towards the Conservation Center. We want to show the Conservation Center that we can come together as a community to fundraise for the Conservation Center without having to kill innocent animals. We are so sad to see that there are deer that we see when we walk on the trails die, being murdered. And one thing that she, uh, the woman I had talked to at the Conservation Center mentioned was that they're not all tame deer um, and that some of them are dangerous. I guess, you know, what's kind of your opinion about that? We, we become familiar with these deer. Um, the people in our community, we come to the nature center to see these deer. We show our kids, this is how a deer looks happy in its natural habitat. They have very few places to go anymore. And so when we see these deer and we interact with them, we walk in the trails, we see them, we, they come up to us. It's very sad and devastating to know that there's someone hunting them the very next weekend. Gotcha, and then I guess, um so you know the details that there are, you know, only a few hunters who are going in, right? Okay, just want to be make sure that you guys got those. Well, I think there are four hunters who had to go through an orientation and a selection process and things like that. And uh, that there are, you know, designated a certain amount. But you guys mainly agree that there is no population problem. Disagree that there is no population problem. Our group looked into the square acres that the conservation center has. We call it a conservation center, not a hunting center, because if you think about the number of resources that are there for the deer, the amount of deer that they say currently reside there, there isn't a scarcity of resources. We looked into the different hunting magazines, we gathered all the resources to see that it's really not an issue with population and the chronic waste disease actually originates from deer breeding farms, which raised a question to us of, you know, if, this, if there's a population issue, why are there farms designated to mass producing these deer in which the chronic waste disease starts and we just want to bring this to attention. Yeah, I mean, I don't know anything about the deer breeding farms because I'm just focusing on this hunt, but another thing that the um, biologists that I talked to said that they are not just focused on the, a single species of deer, they need to focus on the entire ecosystem within the conservation area. I mean, I guess, how have you guys, what has your research shown about that? Well, the way we see is that the, there's natural selection. So when hunters are saying, hey, we need to weed out the weak, are hunters really going out there and weeding out the smallest, the starvation deer? No, they go for the one with the most points. They go for the biggest deer. They go for the one that they can hang on their mantle, the strongest deer in the herd. If we're weeding out the strongest deer in the herd, what's that gonna do to the gene pool? 
so that's when well, I understand that theory. Um, but again, I'm just going. I'm just saying with the biologist who I just interviewed before this came. I just came from the conservation center. Now she said that it's not like a point thing during this because they have regulation about what they can and can't bring back. You know. Yeah. One of the things that we talked about that really made us very concerned about this nature center hunt is on the news when the 15-year-old girl talked about her first buckshot there was an uproar because according to the hunting magazines, usually if there's a population issue, they'll shoot three does before one buck. Well, her first kill was a buck and she was um, telling about the thrill that she got from it. She was telling about how many points it was worth and how she's looking forward to killing more. She didn't talk about, you know, the benefits of the community or how she's gonna, you know, help any of these other things. She was concerned about how many points it had, how big it was. And I guess, um, I guess one other thing that I wanted to ask about was um, losing my train of thought here. Um, well, I guess what other uh, points do you want to bring up? We just want to educate the community that there is other ways that the Nature Center can bring in revenue without having to hunt these deer and issue hunting license and bring in the money that way. Um, we understand that you know that's their main source of income and that they have to use their special marketing techniques to get people who usually wouldn't hunt into the Nature Center and hunting during these controlled hunts. And we realize that the USDA does give millions of dollars towards these agencies to organize these controlled hunts. But we just kind of want to, you know, educate the community that there's other ways that they can do this and that we are not supporting of this controlled hunt. Um, and I guess I wanted to mention, you know, you keep saying that you guys want to educate the community. They mentioned to me that they've had several educational courses about this hunt. So that way, whoever's curious or has questions, whether no matter what side of the debate it is, can come and ask those. Have you been to any of those or no? We read on their magazine, we looked up their information on the Missouri Department of Conservation and read all their articles there um, and gathered our resources through employees at the Conservation Center and through them we were able to um, compile information based on like the amount of area that the Conservation Center has, the amount of deer that are there, um, where they get their deer, where the revenue comes from. Okay, but I just want to be clear that you didn't go to any of their specific hunts about this hunt that they had leading up to this hunt, like their courses for the other like things like this going on controlled hunts yeah yes there's people outraged across the nation about these things because i mean if you think about it one of the arguments that hunters like to make is that oh we these deer will die of starvation if we do not shoot them however they must realize that by killing the strongest bucks of the herd they are going to have a um, problem because uh, the offspring are going to be too weak to survive that winter and it will actually lead to more starvation so. Okay, um, you said that you guys wanted to.